Heteronuclear multiple bond correlation spectroscopy or HMPC is another two-dimensional NMR technique that gives further information about the structure of the molecule. We will see what type of information we can get from the spectrum and how to interpret and read the spectrum. So let's begin. So as I told you earlier that it's a two-dimensional NMR technique and it's a heteronuclear technique and it shows multiple bond correlation. So in other words, it means that HMBC shows long-range couplings between proton and carbon-13. And these protons and carbon-13s may be two to three bonds away from each other, which also means that HMBC can provide information about protons coupled indirectly to quaternary carbons. Indirectly means that quaternary carbons which may be two or three bonds away from the particular proton. In the previous two-dimensional techniques like HSQC or HMQC, we saw one bond coupling between proton and carbon. So in that spectrum, we only see carbon atoms that have protons attached to them. We do not see any quaternary carbons, but HMBC will give you information about the quaternary carbons as well. HMBC is very useful in getting information about connectivities across different linkages, like for example, the glycosidic linkages in carbohydrates can be determined with the help of HMBC spectrum. We may also have adducts or dimers or even trimers in natural product chemistry so to determine or get information about connectivities between two monomers of the dimer or two parts of an adduct hmbc is very useful so let's see how we can read the spectrum and extract information here is a part of the hmbc spectrum of a molecule and because it's a heteronuclear technique so we're going to see correlations between protons and carbons so here you see the carbon scale and here we have the proton nmr scale and for convenience you can see the proton spectrum drawn uh, up here now just like hsqc or hmqc we do not have any diagonal in hmbc spectrum but the difference between HMQC and HMPC is that HSQC shows one bond coupling between proton and carbon. So you only see one contour below the proton peak that is present here. But HMBC shows long range couplings. So a proton may have more than one carbon atoms, two to three bonds away from it. So let's see how we can read it. So the first proton that we are going to see is this proton that resonates at about 7.1. Now what we need to do is to find a contour that is present right underneath this, spec, this, this peak. So here is one, or you can simply draw a line uh, going down from the center of this peak and meeting the scale downwards. So if you draw a line, this line passes through three contours. The first contour, if you connect it to the carbon scale, meets at about 105 or 106 ppm. And the second one meets at about 128 ppm. And the third one meets the carbon scale at about 157 ppm which means that the proton resonating at 7.1 has three protons close to it sorry three carbons close to it one resonating at 105 other at 127 and another at 157 now these three carbon atoms do not include the carbon which is directly attached to this 7.1 which means it does not show us one bond coupling but it shows two to three bond couplings let's see another proton like for example this one if you draw a line right underneath this signal it will pass through two 
contours and it meets down here at about 7.32 which means that this proton which resonates at about 7.32 has two connectivities that is long range connectivities one with the carbon that resonates at about 126 ppm and the other that resonates at about uh, say 133 ppm so this proton which resonates at about 7.32 has two correlations, two long range correlations, and that is with 126 and 133. This proton, which appears as a tablet, has almost four correlations. Let's see. So we have a correlation down here with 157, which we have already seen. We have another correlation with 127, this one, and we have another correlation with about 126. Uh, ppm or 127 ppm and this one at about 118 ppm also shows correlation with this proton this one down here uh, shows two or maybe three correlations let's see so it resonates at about 7.59 and shows a correlation with about with a carbon resonating at about 128 and another one at 133 ppm if you extend this line it will meet the same position as this one so 133 also shows correlation with 7.59 this is a signal for two protons you can see two tablets and if you look at the correlations you can see that some are slightly to the left this one and this one they are slightly to the left and these two are slightly to the right so we have actually two protons showing correlations. These two correlations are for the one that is on the right hand side, this one. And these two are for the one that is on the left hand side. So this is a correlation with 128 and this is a correlation with about 136 ppm. And this one, the proton to the left uh, shows correlation with about 126 and the other one at about 133 ppm and we also have this correlation which is with the proton to the right and so it shows correlation at about 106 and this one also is for the proton to the right and this shows correlation at about 157 ppm um, so this is how we can read the spectrum and we can actually uh, form smaller fragments like this for example So this proton will show HMBC correlation with either this proton or it can show correlation with this proton, which are two bonds and three bonds away from the proton. And this correlation with this carbon will be seen in HSQC spectrum. So here is an example of a molecule. We have this tri-substituted benzene ring and you can see uh, the protons here. You can see only two types of protons, that is the three methoxy groups will give one signal and the three aromatic protons will give one signal. Uh, down here underneath this methoxy signal, which resonates at about 3.7 ppm, we have one contour and this contour meets the carbon scale at about 162 ppm. So actually this is the correlation of this CH3 proton with this quaternary carbon. And the same quaternary carbon which resonates at about 162 shows a correlation with the proton that resonates at about 6.08. That is the aromatic proton. So you can see one two bond coupling here and this one is a three bond correlation. All right. So um, this is how you can read the spectrum and extract information about the structure of the molecule. The next session will be about another 2D NMR technique that is two-dimensional nosy spectrum. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for now.